As the season comes to an end, so is Kama Pilia's contract. But where will he play? Because I hear that nobody can afford him. Understandably so. If the 500k salary is true, then that's a lot of money and a lot of team in the DSTV Premiership cannot afford that. So if you are Kama, what do you do? Well, you take a pay cut. That's the thing that makes sense, right? Hello and welcome to Kosi Nation Fan TV. I am Pelo. I am your host. This is where fans meet. And talk about Kaiser Chiefs. I'm a Kosi football club. And in today's video, we're talking about Kamapilia taking a salary cut and also how this relates to Ata Zwane's biggest fear. So let's start by the first reason why Uzwane and the management might actually have Kamapilia take a salary cut. So the first and very important thing is the fact that Upiliat, despite the fact that this season he hasn't been at his best and he's been injured a lot. He's still a quality player and people have been saying a lot when we talked about other players in the previous videos, Uguti, there is no substitute for equality, right? Because we always complain, Guti, these players are doing this, these players are doing that, the players are doing this. It's just that we lack equality. And Ukama is that player who's there, who's already quality that we don't have to go out and search. Yes, I know people will say, hey, but he hasn't shown his quality. Relax, we'll talk about those things later on. Because any intonje that you must remember with Kama, even in the previous few seasons, is the fact that we were once called, at some point we were called Individual Brilliance FC because we we're always saved by Ukama or Toli. So those two players were the ones who were saving us. And the quality does not just expire. Quality stays there. And if Ukama nae, he still wants to contribute to the team. Equality Ake will always be there with him, even if he signs an extension of a year or two. So Ichivs is going to definitely need a player who has a quality like Ukama going forward. And the other thing is that some people will talk about how Ukama has not really reached the level of Sundowns, and I've said that. But then I thought to myself, yes, he hasn't reached the levels that he reached at Sundowns. But look at the players that he played with at Sundowns. Look at the players that he played with at Chiefs, right? So you you compare quality over the years, and you see Uguti. Sundowns has always, like in the recent in recent years, have always been here, and Chiefs has always been here. So if you are taking a player who's going who's performing at his best with players who are here, and then you bring him here, then his performances are going to be around here, and then all of a sudden you are going to say he's not the same karma that he was at sundowns he's not the same karma that he was at sundowns because he's no longer at sundowns he's playing for chiefs now and the chiefs has a different kind of players and the system as well that was being played at sundowns sundowns they play ball at sundowns you come to chiefs you find baxter comes in market so they are all playing this similar football that is not suited to Kama's style and yes he ended up scoring goals because chances will fall to him but he wasn't getting as much chances as he would be getting in the current case Chiefs team right now in the system that we are currently playing and yes i know guti he did struggle a bit and even i criticized him guti at times it just looked like he was not interested but if he's going to sign a new contract it's things that must be dealt with things that we must talk about guti listen we're giving you a contract, we're giving you a lifeline here. So you're going to have to contribute something to this team because we're working together and we're trying to do things differently. And also, one thing that is important, Uguti, uh, Ukama, when he played before he, he got injured, was playing more of a false nine position. But now if he can play a more of just center forward position where he's just shifting around or a striker position not even center forward because there's a slight difference by the way between a striker and a center forward but anyways as a striker Uguti is just there ready to make the the right runs off the shoulders of the defenses or making the right movements lapa in the front line and not necessarily dropping into midfield because then that means your job is to also contribute in the build up and stuff like that but Maguguti, we can just say your assignment now is to finish Amakoli or to be involved in the final third because we need your quality in that final third. So also the change in what he can do for the team in terms of Fuguti positioning wise, you will now not be playing as a false nine, but you'll be playing as a nine or whatever way that Uzwane wants to integrate him into the team. 
If you are enjoying the video, by the way, please do like the video. It helps me to reach more people like you. And if you are not subscribed to the channel, well, also just subscribe. Yes, thank you for subscribing. Now, the other thing, obviously, is the fact that each chiefs needs a depth, right? Each chiefs it does not have a depth. Our forwards right now we have Ukama, who's injured. We have, if we are talking about people who can play as a center forward or as a number nine, okay, as a striker, we have Utupri, we have U -U 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 Caleb. So you basically have two, not two, but three. Three players plus Ukama. And then Utupri, usually he's actually played as a left winger. And then Upi Menyimana gets injured a lot or it does not give you consistent performances. So already you have two players out and you also have Utuba who is sort of being introduced into the team. And he's not like really like Uguti. He's now a senior player who's trusted to play. We'll talk about him later on again. But you see Uguti Vele will lack like it depth in that department. But people will say, oh, but it's obvious Uguti Chips should then just go out and sign someone new but the thing is e chiefs does not actually or is not it does not have the luxury or so they give us the impression to go out and just sign anyone because right now e chiefs we've seen which there have been so many moves that were linked with e chiefs and they end up not materializing and i'm not just talking about moves that are like oh uh, we just want to have the player because but it's the players that we've actually needed we have not signed a defensive midfield to replace Uplom. Even before Uplom, we needed a, def a defensive midfield and we did not sign a defensive midfielder. So that means even if the Chiefs does sign someone come Uchun, the priority will not be a center forward. The priority will be a defensive midfielder. Another priority will be someone to play in the middle. And we also need someone else as a winger, right and left winger. And then we can talk about a forward because also there's that issue of Guti in the Bay left back is still not sorted because even Tlanti's contract issue is still not sorted to this day. So then that basically means a centre forward, a striker slash number nine, whatever, is not really a priority. So then because of that, he might have to sign that uh, contract, Yoguti, not salary cut so that he can stay and solve inking as a chiefs for this season and then next season they let him go and see who can come in okay now how does this relate to the fact that how zwan is biggest fear it's this uguti uzwan has already taken a risk with umtu and making him the main man right in the team and Returning from the, 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 the World Cup, he also tried taking that risk with Uzwane, the small Zwan Sam game. But what ended up happening is that one bad performance and already people were booing him. So now you are in a position where you have to trust to do by game to become the main striker in your team. And once you have to trust to Tuba to be your main striker in the team, and then it doesn't do well, which by the way, he hasn't done great when he, come, he came on. He's just been like, okay, Tuba is there. But people are already talking about how Tuba is wasteful, how Tuba is missing chances. And that's just even on YouTube where people are usually nicer. Now go to Twitter, now go to the actual stadium. Then you will see how much violence is there. So Uzwane is in a position where he has these young stars who can be a solution, but he has a fear Yoguti if he introduces them, then they will end up being scorned by our fans. And as no man seven said the right way. But that's the thing, Yoguti, even Ungezane, Kumbul Ungezane, he he's, he's been put when he was much younger. Umashia Naye, that red card, people turned on him. We know you mpo, we know Uguti you still have VP no Mashiane because of that red card. Umtu right now, I saw people were already talking about how uh, blah, 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 stuff, bad stuff about him, even though he's performing. You have Uzuane, the recent case as well. So I think all these factors, when they come together, they might actually force Ichiv's, even now, Pilia, to say, okay, fine, let me take a salary cut. Uguti, how much it's going to be, that's going to be up to them. Do you think U uh, Kama Pilia should take a salary cut. <laughs> Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And remember to like the video if you haven't. And subscribe to the channel if you are now convinced to go. this is a good channel for you to subscribe to. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. And until next time, remember, equals Alpelu Moy.